and today we're going to be doing some arts and crafts. So today we're going to be making a fish out of a plate. Yay! Okay, so first off we're going to need a plate and we're going to need some coloured paper, any colours you like. So I've got purple, I have yellow, I have pink, my favourite colour, I have orange, baby blue, and a nice light green. Yay! Okay, so let's get started. So, with our plate, we're going to get our texture, and then we're going to draw it, just show you after. We're going to a bit of a triangle like this as you can see and then we're going to cut it out with a pair of scissors make sure you're careful because they are very very sharp and then we're going to cut Ooh. So now we have a mouth. This part we're going to keep because we're going to use it for later so we can make it like a little tail. So we'll keep that on the side. So after we do this, we're going to go to our colours and draw some circles. So we're going to get a texture again. Try to get a light coloured one so it's just easier when you put it on the plate so you don't see this mark. And then we do a circle, big circle like this. And we do it on all of them. So we're going to make some circles. And then we're going to cut them out with the scissors. Be careful everyone, they're very sharp. Here we go. all your little cute circles and all the different colours we're now going to apply it to the fish plate. So first off actually we need to have an eyeball. We're going to use the green one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a circle but this circle is going to be for the eye so I'll show you. So again another circle. You're going to be drawing a lot of circles you know. And then we're going to cut this one out, just need only one colour, so then it's different from all the other, all the other colours, like this. And then after we've cut that, so we have like a circle, and then I'm going to get my black texture and then just draw like a little eye. You do another circle, except when you colour it in, you make sure you don't colour the entire eye in. So it looks like this now. And then we're going to get our glue stick and glue it in. And then we're going to place it on the paper. Like this. Yay! How cool is that? Now we can see with our eye. Okay. And then after that, that's when we use all our colours. And then we're going to fold it like this in half. So then it's like open, close, making a circle into a half circle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our paper and our glue stick and then we're going to just all over the paper. Okay, and then we're going to get these and place them all over. So I'll show you. I'm going to put two down using the pink and the blue. And then we're going to do this. So it looks like that. All nice and colourful. So we're going to just put it all over. So we're going to get the glue stick on the plate. And then we're going everywhere. Yay! Guys, 
going to put the tail. So that's why I kept this part of the plate so we can put on at the end. So we get our fish plates. We make sure it's all good, yeah, and it will fit. And then we're gonna glue stick this part with our glue stick like this. And then we're going to place it on the back. Yay! Now it's got a little fish tail so we can swim through the ocean. How pretty! We have all different colors. So let's go through the colors now. We have, again, pink, purple, orange, baby green, and baby blue. Yay! Good job, everyone. So, also next up, we can add a fin if we like, just like this one. Or you don't have to add a fin if you don't want to. So we have two different options. We have one with an extra little fin and one without. So you can like stand it up or if you want to put this up on like the fridge or the wall. How cool is this? I love them. Now I'm going to put them all over the wall. Or maybe give it to one of my friends. Or give it to my mum or dad. Oh my goodness, what a cute little idea to make a fish out of a plate. Yay! Well done, everyone. Now it's your turn to make it. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with Kiki today. Remember, it's with the K-I-K-I. -I. Yay! Bye, friends! Hey friends, and today we're back again with Arts and Crafts. And today we're going to be using a plate again. And we're going to make a jellyfish today. So excited. So let's get started. So we're going to obviously need a plate. We're going to need our scissors. Remember, they're sharp. Got to be careful. And our glue stick today. And all these pretty colours. Yay! So many colours to choose from. So, let's get started. So first off, with the plate, we're going to cut through the middle. Like this. Perfect. And then, you're going to have half a plate this time. So now, we're going to add two eyes and then a little smile underneath so let's get started with the circle so i'm going to choose for my eyes to be yellow so i'm going to get my texture and some eyes like this and once again we're going to cut them out plate and then glue them on using our glue stick. Yay! Just like that. So now we have two eyes. Then we're going to get our black text stuff. There we go, like this. Do a little smiley face underneath. Yay! Because we want our jellyfish to be a happy jellyfish. Woo! Cool. Now we're going to do all that extremely legs. So we're going to get our, all the colours together, hold it together so it's easier and quicker. And we're just going to cut all the way through to the top, like this. Do it again, same time like the first time, and cut all the way to the top. Wow, we're gonna have a lot of jelly little legs. <laughs> Woo, look at all this. So now we're gonna grab our plate and then put them all 
underneath like this. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna make it easier and I'm gonna grab this part here along there and glue it with my glue stick. There we go. And then I'm gonna grab all my different colors and just attach them underneath. Make a cute little plate jellyfish. Woo! I'll see you next time, friends. Remember, it's Kiki with the K I K I. Yay! Yay! See ya! Hey, friends, and we're back with Kiki today, and we're going to be making a flower card today. Yay! So, what we're going to need is a glue a pair of scissors, and a few different colored papers. Any colors that you want. So I've got today yellow, a nice baby pink, and a nice darky green. So this is going to be our card. So first of all, we're gonna fold it in half like this. So then it's like we can open, close, open, close. So that's our card. So we're gonna keep this out of the way for now, but at least we know. And then we're gonna cut this in half and then we're going to just do lines straight through. I'll show you. So we're gonna go like this, like nice little thin straight lines like that. So we're gonna do it all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay, we've cut out six. So we're gonna keep those there as well. And then we're gonna make a circle, another circle. So we're gonna get our texture and make a circle. Not a really big circle, just a little circle if you can see that there. Just a baby one. And then we're gonna cut it out. So we have everything ready to go. Beautiful. So we have a little circle. Then we're gonna get our card and then we're gonna pick our butt. This is gonna be the front of our card. So now we're gonna grab all of these, cut it in half like this. So now it's in half. And then we're going to glue it like at the ends and then place it onto the middle and then we're going to wrap it around like this so it looks like that so now it's like popping out of your card. So we wrapped it around. And then we're gonna do it all over.
now. And that's when we get our yellow little circle and then we glue it again and then we place it right in the middle. Wow, now that looks more like a flower. Yay! So we have our baby pink, our yellow, and a bit of a green. So now we can open close. <laughs> but no, we're not done. So now we need to put a long stem. So we're gonna use the pink one again, and we're gonna cut it. And then we're gonna make sure it measures nicely. Yes. And then we're going to glue the back of it all the way through and then place it underneath here. And now you have a little stem. Yay! Can you see that? And then maybe we'll add some grass down the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a green texture like this. And then we're going to just draw some leaves. Some grass, make it look pretty, like this, down the bottom, so we have some little plants, and maybe we'll draw some leaves for it, hmm, like a baby pink. This is the card now, yay, how pretty, and you can like play with it and it comes out like 3D. So guys, you can do anything you like with this card. You can write this to your mom, your dad, your grandpa, brother and sister, auntie, uncle, even your friends. How cute as a little card with a flower. You can make so many different colored ones if you like. So now it's your turn to make a flower card. Are you guys ready? Yay! Well, thank you guys for making it with me today with Kiki. Remember, it's with the K-I-K-I. -K -I. Yay! See you next time, friends. Friends, and happy Easter, everybody. Today, we're gonna be doing something so exciting. I'm gonna be drawing eggs and rabbits, so you can do it too at home. And then, we can use all the different colors from my book and make some eggs on paper. Yay! So, I'm gonna pick my color. I'm thinking of doing pink. I'm gonna take the paper out from the book and put it here on the table. So, I'm gonna be drawing an Easter egg. I'm gonna use, hmm, what color should I use? I'm gonna use green, a nice dark green. Okay, so what we have to do is, is an oval. So an oval is not exactly like a circle, it's a little bit more narrow, and it goes a little bit more in. I'll show you. Ready? Good job, everyone. So I'm gonna draw it on the paper now, and then I'll show you. Go, and that is an oval. Now, I'm gonna draw some little cute circles on it, but I'm gonna use the color orange. There we go, here are some circles. See, we have an oval, and then we have little circles. Now, remember, we gotta use our scissors, which are very sharp. So make sure you have an adult with you to help you with this. But now we're gonna cut it out. <laughs> Yay! There we go, that's one of our eggs. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna make another Easter egg. I'm gonna do another oval. I'm gonna use the color blue. It's like a navy blue. Huh. Okay, oval again. Okay. Oh, I 
think this oval is a bit more bigger than the other one. There you go, a blue oval. And then, this time, I'm gonna use another color. Dark blue, actually. So I'm gonna go zigzags. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Like this. And then we'll cut it out so that we can add it to our next oval egg. Let me cut the first row. zigzags and cut them out safely and now I'm gonna grab my oval and place it on top so I actually have room so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my ruler and I'm gonna measure so when I cut it I cut the right amount and I'm gonna use this baby pink one so it looks like and then I'll cut it like this. And then place it like this. Yay! And then I'm gonna use my glue stick. Turn it around and apply the glue on top. to a different shape down the bottom. So I'm gonna pick the color, ooh, yellow, bright yellow. Okay, so we're gonna do stripes. I'm gonna use the hot pink one this time to outline. Ooh. Okay. Let's use our ruler, actually. So we have a perfect straight line. Then, we're gonna cut it out. Yay! There we go, we have two stripey lines. Now, I'm gonna bring my egg over here and measure again. Okay. Remember to use your ruler. Lines. Yay! 
Wow, guys, we did so good today. We have a large oval egg, a medium oval egg, and a small oval egg. Yay! These are so good to make and give to mommy and daddy and grandpa and grandpa and your sister and brother this year for Easter. So go ahead and make some. I hope I gave you some great ideas. Thank you guys so much today. Remember, it's Kiki with the K I K I. Happy Easter, everyone. Hey friends, and we're back today, and we're going to be doing some Easter bunnies. Yay! Because it's Easter time. So, we are going to need these things. We're going to need a pencil, a texter, and some paper. Any color you like. And scissors. But make sure with the scissors you have an arrow around you because they're very, very sharp. So we're going to be doing this bunny today. I'm so excited. So we're going to grab, where's my pencil? My pencil. And we're actually going to outline my hand. I'm also using a nice baby pink paper because I'm going to make a pink bunny because that's my favorite color. So I'm going to put my hands on the paper and we're just going to outline it. So it should look like this. <laughs> a hand. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out with the scissors. Turquoise. So 
This time, we're going to do the drink again and I'm going to do different eyes. And then a little tiny face. And then we're going to do a little box this so it looks like it has two front teeth in the middle. <laughs> then, we're going to get out scissors. Be careful, they're sharp. And we're going to just cut in the middle again. And then it looks like that. <laughs> Yay! Another big one. Whoa! That's a big rabbit. And then we forgot to put the feet. Hmm, let's use purple though. Why not? Change it up a bit. We're giving purple feet. And maybe we'll give some hair. Let's give some purple hair. Like that. Purple crazy hair. With all the rabbits, you can make them all fun and different. Different colours. Add some hair. Add some fun. Make them your own. Let's put it there. Thank you so much for making our hand rabbit with me today. Make sure that you make some for Easter this year as a cute little gift to everyone. Thank you for watching Kiki today. Remember, with a K, with an I, with a K and an I. See you guys. Hey friends, and today for our Easter special, we're going to be making headbands today. So, these are the headbands. And I'm going to be making it for you to make it easier. Things that you need today to make our rabbit headbands is a pencil, glue, scissors, a ruler, and texas. Yay! Let's get started. So, I have these little bunnies that we're going to put in the bigger bunnies. Like these ones. So, we're going to cut these ones out. And then I'll show you everyone. like an oval and then a straight line down the bottom. That's okay. So now we have the ears and then the mini ears and then we are going to get our glue stick on the pink one and then apply it. So it looks like this. Yay! That's one ear. And then I'm going to do the same with the other one. And now the ears look like that. And they'll go like that. Just put them there for now. Now we need to make a headband going around our head. So I need to measure it. One. Okay, so two red papers that I'm going to need. And I'm going to use my ruler to draw a nice straight line with my black marker and go straight down. And then do it again. So it looks like this, down the line. And then we're going to cut again. Now we have two long lines and we're going to attach it just about this much would only need to be glued just a little bit and then we get our glue stick turn it around and then apply it and then grab the other part and put it on top so then it becomes a long line. See? Wow! And then we do the same thing. 
on the end. We fold it just a little bit. Get your glue stick. around your head. Okay. And then we're gonna get our bunnies and glue just a little bit off the bottom. And stick it on top. So it looks like this. Yay! And then in my little Easter bag. I got some googly eyes. I'm gonna apply some googly eyes onto my headband today. We got pink ones. And a blue one. Let's do two different colors. So we're gonna get our glue tech again. I've also got googly eyes. how you make a rabbit headband. But mine's got wiggly eyes. Jiggles all around. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> now it's your turn to go make one. I hope you enjoyed my video, everybody, of me making my bunny rabbit headband. Yay! See you next time, everyone. Remember, it's Kiki with the K. I-K-I. -I. Happy Easter, everyone!